guys, and welcome back to Surviving with Mars! We're on the surface of the red planet and slowly, slowly expanding our influence to stretch all over this mission area that we have on the go right now. I actually pressed that to uh, zoom out here. You can see we're very, very close to having the entire map opened up, and then we can start thinking about how we're going to take full advantage of all of these resources that are around us. Last time we managed to get this entire water system sorted out here, so we should be Oh man, there's no power here. Should be free to do a few things as and when is needed. Let's have a look at what's our power surplus. In fact, it is a power shortage of 13. I think I might just slam a few down here. We've got a, a, a little universal depot that the shuttles are going to run everything to. So let's put something down here. If I right click and open up my power, perhaps we can, as this is so far away from everything else, put down a whole bunch of solar panels and be happy with that. I think that's probably going to be the one we go with. Can't put it there, so we'll have to do it like so. Oh, it doesn't fit in like that either. That's a little bit unfortunate, but I'm sure we'll find ways of working this out. I mean, obviously, I'd prefer to put sterling generators everywhere, but look at the cost. But just look at the cost. Uh, eventually, I would like to full-on replace everything, because these cost me metals in... Ooh, We've started a storyline again, but these cost me metals in maintenance. If we come over here, you can see that they fill up relatively quickly. Uh, last service, 92 hours ago. So 92 hours, 24%. You know, we're, we're looking at about... Um, let's say 400 hours uh, between maintenances there, which sounds like a long time, but that does eat through a lot of my medals like that. Another thing I'm going to wonder about is whether to drag this all the way across like this, like a pipeline here, or do we just build another tunnel system? I'm quite enamored with these tunnel systems. I think they're, uh, they're pretty useful for moving materials around the base, around the whole area, so that, that would be pretty nice here. What's going on over here? We've got ourselves a new metal extractor being built new dome of course are going down and getting ready for new people to come along and hopefully increase our metal production whilst that is actually not the biggest problem we have in the world uh, more metals always more good Cal the note in your hand bears your name its mysterious writer bidding you to visit them in the garden the sense of danger tingles the back of your head, a keen tool you have developed over the years of climbing through the intrigue-filled political structure of the authority. Your, can your contacts won't be so en enigmatic, but neither would any assassin sent by your competitors to put an end to you. You admit to yourself that your curiosity is sparked, but you, you take precautions and tuck in a small pistol in your robes before going outside. Ooh, take a weapon! The night is very hot, even though it's winter. The weather these days has gone crazy and it's been both a blessing and a curse. It served your cause well, giving extra credit to your mutinous words, but it also whispers the coming end for the last of the farming clans and the cities overflowing with starving refugees. You sit by the orchard, orchard, orchards, let's get that word out right, and prepare for a long wait. Your eyes flutter open as you feel the presence of someone else there, a figure in the bushes. You can't help but to gasp as they step into the dim glow of the streetlight. Leah, your breath stops in your throat. Silence in your voice. You feel tears forming in the corners of your eyes. Your sister projects love and happiness over the telepathic link and sweeps her own tears away. Is it really you, Cal? I've missed you so much. I'm so happy to see you. Where have you been? What has happened to you? I've been doing the same thing as you, trying to free us from the authority. I found out terrible secrets and the solution to our problems, but it's dangerous, even fatal. My comrades devised a cure. She opens her palms. Two vials of pale, pale liquid lay there. So I've come to you to take the cure with you. If I'm to die here today, I want to do so in your embrace, Cal. We're the only survivors of our clan. The only survivors of our clan! Oh wow, I don't want it to rest with my people. What are, you, what are you talking about, Leah? This doesn't make sense. Leah sits down beside you, taking your hand. We've been deceived this whole time, Cal. Cl the clans exist only for our gen uh, only for a generation. The clans exist only for it should be existed. Uh, our centuries-long traditions and culture were a lie. The people from our cities killed the land with their industry and their wars. So the authority crafted us from flesh and blood to resettle the planet and work like slaves to the freed cities. But the drought provided strong uh, drought provided stronger than they thought proved was what I was going for there. So they abandoned us. We are a failed project, Cal. But we are also living people. We refuse to let go and die. She pauses to catch her breath. The authority couldn't release millions of people without a safety kill switch, so they imprinted our genes with strong uh, telepathic abilities, so they could reach our minds and wipe us out with terrible weapons designed to kill only us. 
To be free, we must sever our telepathic link. This is what the cure does, but it kill, but it kills only one in three. Oh, it, it does kill one in three. Oh man, it is crucial to set you free, Cal, because you're a watcher. You can decide the authority. You, uh, you can deceive the authority about the people in this sector and allow us to spread the cure through the local clans. Then we will have an army. You are unsure, but confused. But Leah presses on. No time to think, Cal. Let's do this now. Let's take the cure together. I mean, like, ooh. Ooh, okay. We'll take the cure together. I'm here with you. No, Leah. Let me be the only one to take the risk. No. I know people... I know people who will help us refine the cure and make it safer. No need to rush now. I mean, like, that would be ideal. But let's do it with my sister, bam. vile tastes like nothing. Like death. You can feel your mouth forming the words. Then oblivion comes. You feel unconscious, failing, uh, yeah, failing to witness the convolutions which shakes your body. You wake up just before dawn. Leah lays still beside you. She's not breathing. Oh no! The rising sun mercilessly dries your bitter tears from the sand. A dreamer has died. Oh no! Oh. oh no! No! Oh no! That's that's terrible. Take take us to them. Take us to them. This this person I killed through my choices. Oh gosh! No, Leah, or as we call them, Astra Jetson. Oh wow, she's a Jetson. Awesome. Uh, cause of death: low health. Just just low health. Took her out. Everyone else well rested, but no, that was it. Struggling to survive. That's um. That's a shame, but she was an idiot, so I'm not too bothered. I'm not too bothered. So what's going on down here now that we've played out some story? Like, let's, let's speed up time a little bit here. I just we wanted to do the shortage. intro. We've still got a dome with power. How? 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 Insufficient power, 75. Let's have a look. 67 out of 67. The actual demand is 87, so we need another 20 or so. Are these not actually built down here? They're not yet, but I would have imagined that these guys had nothing else to do. So, uh... Is there only one drone down here? No, there's another drone. Okay, there's there's some more. Where have they come from? We have Where are they going? Shortage. I I don't know. I don't know. I would like them. Let's let's watch one of these guys go around and do some jobs. I mean, they're gonna be shifting. Oh look, we need a whole whole place to be dump dumping stuff here. But why are they getting polymers? What is going on here? There is a lot of strange stuff going down. Oh no, he must have just gone to that part of the pickup. That that's fine. That's fine. I can live with that. They all need to get recharged. That's also a good. But things are working down here. Things are working. Can I have a look at the power again? Okay, we now have it so that we are pushing into positive numbers. That's good. That is very very good. okay. This lack of power is starting to become a bit of an issue here. Despite the fact that I've actually built a whole bunch of stuff down here, obviously overnight we are. Are running out pretty severely pretty severely so I'm thinking as we've got a lot of polymers being built here this might be the plate be the place to put down a power accumulator bank now obviously I would prefer to do the Resources atomic accumulators but if these are what I need then these are what I need they're, they're all I have access to right now and it turns out I can't place more than two in a row without uh, getting a little bit off of line here there we go uh, is that as many as we need that might be a few too many there we'll, we'll just roll with this see what they can do overnight I'm not sure what their maximum discharge yeah, rate immortality of a kind I've got an earth sick colonist but I've just received an achievement and I'm not sure which one that is so this guy earth, earth sick what, what's wrong with you what's wrong with you you're freezing you're mourning the death of another colonist you work outside the dome oh man you got you got a lot of problems going on here let's see what you want to uh, to actually sort yourself out Shopping and drinking. There's no. Oh wait, this is the space bar. Why, why, why are you not doing your thing? Go, go, get drunk at the bar so you can feel like you're a human being again. That's that's how that works, right? Oh, all the dreamers are going. They're, they're off. They're doing their thing, which means the entire colony has shut down. Oh, but it's all gone. It's all gone. It, that that's fine, I suppose. Would have liked to have seen that play out, though. Would have liked that to, to have seen that play out. Is there a scientist in... Oh, no, it's a child. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I thought I saw a scientist in here. I was like, no, we do not have scientists here. We, we put all the scientists in here. Should we should we filter the domes by this? Let's go uh, you. Specialization. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we've already got the scientists being top there. No need for geologists either. Nice. Okay, that, that that's good, actually. That's really good. Apart from um, we do need a geologist here. Who set that up? Who Whose idea? was to say no geologists. We, we do need geologists. We also have an unemployed person in that dome. That means we could probably open up some more shifts somewhere. Let's look around and see if any of the service buildings... Let's open up some more medics. Research that that complete. seems like a good idea. Uh, we've got factory amplification. That sounds pretty good. Now, I've not been actually 
uh, enacting any of these uh, upgrades that I've been getting. Look at this. Biotech's good. Supportive community is next. Okay, all right. We, we've got some good stuff going down here. Let's just have a quick look through. Rejuvenation and treatment. The treatment. All right. Rejuvenation treatment. Improves service comfort and provides relaxation as a colonist to visit and gain comfort. Man, that that's one to go for right there. Very much. Uh, like this top line here. It's uh, bioengineering, right? Biotech. And I kind of overlook it a lot. But there's a lot of really good stuff in here. Holographic scanning. Medical center upgrade. Holographic scanning. Increases birth rate in the dome. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll probably probably get some of that as well uh, what else have we got on the top end here out dome buildings require less maintenance we'll take that one straight up mega engineering that's fine I don't think there's anything else here shuttle speed increases pretty high that's good factory I I performance increased by 20 Ooh, that sounds pretty good fuel extractors rover printing maybe we want to get this aha Laser defense system. We're definitely going to want that. That that is a must. Uh, cargo capacity increased. That's also pretty good. Uh, number of shuttles increased. That's good. Man, there there are some really good things here. But we're going to have to make some choices later. Honestly, this Earth sick person needs to sort it out. They're uh, they're just kind of chilling at a bar, having a good time. I think Resources it's this one there. here. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, it told us there, Earth sick. Yeah, look. It's this one here just 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 guzzle it down be, be fine with the world you're, you're kind of going better you're visiting the infirmary you're having some drinks yeah it's all looking good it's all looking good so with that in mind shall we Resources drop ourselves down own. some more people and i think the best place to drop them would be over here somewhere oh look this is like shortage. a bunch of metals over there we've got power issue this is nighttime power issue did not the uh accumulators do their job Hmm. <clears throat> Let's put this up onto drone hubs. Need the need the maximum power, right? They they need to be the ones that really can lay it down, so that if when the power does die, they can come along and do some other stuff. Look at all these. These are terrible, terrible. Where did I put the accumulators? I put them down somewhere. I'm sure of it. New colonists have arrived. Colonists are departing. Ah, oh, our Earth sick colonists left. I suppose that's okay though. Yeah, here we go. Totally running out of power. Uh, requires minimum 30 to start supplying the grid. That's 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 all right. That's all right. Uh, hopefully tomorrow these guys will get charged up. Let's uh, let's fast forward our way until morning and see if we actually are starting to pull in some power. Looking over there, right, the solar powers have opened. Only charging 0.3. Is that literally the... Oh, man, we are, we're we still short. We're still short. Okay, where are we going to drop some sterling engines? I think they're, they're good ideas to come, come and put in somewhere. Um, not over here. Definitely over this way somewhere. I'm feeling this area. Oh, look, this guy needs to be, like, totally ripped down. Is this still not done? Are we still... 66 concrete somewhere. Are you done? Or are you just, you're just storage space full? Maybe the 66 is still under there. We'll, we'll have to find out. Daily production 26. I just I just want to clear this area out so that I can start putting like, you know, sterling engines here. Let's put, let's put another two down. Let's see how long they take to get built in this um, central hub of our area. Should work out all right for us, I'm hoping. Let's go over and have a look at this other dome whilst we're here. Man, suddenly things are all kicking off. Has this got the uh, waiting for fuel, emptying food? You know what? We're going to put down a storage. We're going to put a... F was that food depot? Did I actually click food depot there? I did. Uh, we're going to put it closest to the food. So we'll put it down over there. And hopefully all those drones can just go ahead and unload stuff. Do we actually have drones doing a business over here? Uh, is, it, is it you? Is Beagle the only place we've got drones? Sector scan. Could definitely do with having an actual drone hub down here. How do you guys feel about that? I, I feel like that's a must. Uh, also, let's no, not in there. Let's go in here. There's got to be one that gives us drone hub without any any maintenance, right? That that's got to be a thing somewhere. Well, if it is a thing, it's not one that I've got access to. That's a little bit of a shame. Now, I am told, a little birdie tells me, that these um, spy glasses here, magnifying glasses, are the ways that we get more breakthroughs. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go around and start telling this to start scanning all the anomalies we can find that look like that. We're going to probably start just sweeping our way out and round. Maybe we can build ourselves a little power charging station over there that'd be pretty tasty that would be pretty tasty i've also just noticed that over here we're starting to run out of space so if i just do these and i'll wait for that last one to do on camera nice dome without power no this is not what we want 
definitely not what we want. Let's have a look and see what's going on with every no one. No one can go shopping. Why can no one go shopping? Should we? Um, should we do something about that? I think that's probably a good idea. Like with ten of them doing so, let's take this one out. Just going to blow that up. Probably going to have lots of people complaining about Earth's no uh, relaxation areas, but they've got a bar, so you know whatever. They've got a bar. One Earth sick colonist. I thought that told me this entire dome had gone up, gone Earth sick. Then I was like, what? No, this is not the way that the world works. Uh, somewhere that does shopping. Do we want to do the art workshop or the food? I think we'll go with the art workshop, and then it can feel luxurious at the same time. Uh, let's get this super high uh, priority here. Brilliant. Nice. Is it going to get? Is it going to get worked out? It, it should really get worked out nice and fast. It's the polymers in particular that we're short of, but we've got 129 polymers in store, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. Now, did these two get built? They did get built. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, how's this doing? Are we, are we getting close? Storage space is full. I'd really like to just empty this out, but there's uh, very little left to do. Look, look at this bit here. I bet that's a bit. We're going to try and put that down just for that. Maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll have to find out. Multi-spiral architecture. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the uh, the oval dome. We'll definitely get working on that in a sec. Let's uh, let's clear this off. I was just thinking about where to put the uh, the drone hub over here, but we we got more important things to take care of now. Uh, what's this one? That's an event. That's a, an unlock for tech. That's more tech. Uh, I'm looking for more breakthroughs though. This this is very much what I want. I want more breakthroughs. No, that's more science. We'll go through and get some of these later on so we can start bulking up the things that we want but for now I want to see if I do get some of the breakthroughs that are very very helpful like the you know lack of maintenance on drone hubs and stuff like that speaking of a uh, drone hubs let's go and slam on down over here somewhere that covers just about everything we want to do now it's pretty close to that extractor so it's gonna like take some extra shortage. damage I mean what happens if I just do this? That, that, that that probably works for me let's get a little bit of power running from there up to there and that should work out a okay Let's go over here, running out of power a little bit. Is it overnight? We could literally just put down I don't know, four more sterling, and, uh, sterling generators. I really do want to swap everything out to sterling generators when possible. Uh, just a little bit worried about my uh, lack of electronics. Let's see what's going down here. We've got half shifts on both sides. It's tempting. Oh, no, no, no. We do, we do keep getting more people in there. So we'll just have to wait and see. These guys are not charging fast enough, though. Uh, now that we got some daylight yeah no still not charging fast enough i'm gonna go and go crazy are you guys ready for this we're going crazy with the number of sterling generators here that that should well completely empty out the number of electronics we've got but hopefully oh we should keep an eye on what the electronic maintenance is like though i think it's just polymer maintenance for the sterling generator so we'll keep an eye on that as well uh so that's going up 3.4 uh, plus the five of consumption of course that is to be a kept an eye on what am i consuming polymers for like does anything use polymers to make something else not that I can think of. Maybe that polymer consumption is me just building here. That that, that could be a thing. That could be a thing. If anybody knows, please do Sector drop a comment down below. I'd like to know. Down. This guy reckons he's ready to leave. Asimov, if you could. Yeah. No, he's... Oh, no, no. We still, we still got a load of food in there. But more importantly, we've got a uh, vessel with a low power. Let's kind of drop him up this way and we'll figure out what to do about that in a second. We did, of course, get a new piece of tech. What's this? All colonists gain 20% performance during night shifts. Ooh. I'm not going to put any night shifts down, but that's that's still pretty good. The reason I'm not going to put night shifts down is because colon colonists, even if they get a boost in production, take a little bit of a sanity hit to uh, to do that, to, to work overnight. Uh, right, you. Are you charged? You're not charged. You are getting charged. Times five. Do it faster. Do it faster. Uh, also, have you guys seen the, uh, the, the alternate skins on here? Um... They're not my favourite, it has to be said. Like, yellow and blue, yeah, it's 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 fairly cool, but at the, the red, white and black, that's uh, that's definitely where I'm at here. Apart from on the giant spaceships, uh, let me let me show you that in a sec. I, I just had a pol I just had a breakthrough somewhere. Where was it? It's up, it's up here. No, that's a key. Breakthrough, there we go. Bam. Go go and go and scan that. Let's uh let's have a look at Asimov. Can we can we double click and have a look? Right, here here he is, looking looking all swanky. 
But look at that! I mean, like, what is that for a colour scheme? Isn't that great? Heat shield on the bottom, go faster stripes on the side. It's, it's just amazing just amazing uh, so these guys not really getting the the drone hub Recent built here am I in the wrong spot is that what's going on if I do that there does that help does that help uh, storage space is full stored metals are full wow oh like actual wow uh, how are we doing on machine parts we're doing all right we're doing all right I don't think we need to worry too much about that just gotta wait for Asimov to be ready to leave oh it is he's close he is close. Let's just hang around for a couple of seconds here so we can watch this guy disappear off my planet. You, however, you're doing uh, Martian-born adaptability. That's pretty good, but still not the best. Let's have a look. Yeah, Martian-born... Oh, no, hypersensitive photovoltaics, sorry. Solar panels, large solar panels, production increased by 100%. Oh, man. We have power issues. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Okay, here comes another breakthrough as well. We'll leave him there. Oh, there's the hypersensitive photovoltaics. Cool. So that this is just another research complete. Let's click that down. Of course, that was this one up here, which means that they get a uh, higher, uh, graduate faster in universities and sanatoriums, and a higher chance to pick up that dreamer perk we've been trying to instill in everybody. Nice. Okay, Asimov is indeed ready for takeoff now. Let's let's watch him go. That beautiful color scheme. Bye bye. Oh, that's nice. We got a vehicle with low power, as if I couldn't figure out which one that was. We're just gonna leave him here because, like, honestly, we can run someone out to rescue him if need be. All right, that's looking pretty good. Vocation orientated society. That sounds interesting. Let's click that and see what it does. Colonists gain 10 bonus work performance when all their stats are green. Ooh. You wake up startled under your own bed sheets. The world outside pitch black. A disturbing dream. Not that you remember much of it. For a moment you think there is another mirage happening, but it's no such thing. You clearly remember the voices who kept repeating the same words over and over and over and over and over. Find us again, Cal. Don't you remember us? Find us again. You cannot shake the feeling that there are voices of people from the colony and some others who sound strangely familiar. Let more dreamers experience the mirage. I mean, like, we're, we're, we're doing... We're doing the Mirage thing as, as hard as we possibly can. Let's, let's be honest here. I don't think I can do much better than that. This guy, full power, doing all right. Let's change his, his color scheme. Oh, I mean, you know, when you're red, you're red. It's, there's not much to talk about that, really. Okay, with that, we've got two more breakthroughs to scan. This one, in fact, I'm going to go all the way over there and do this one first. Let's, uh, let's do that scan and come back. In fact, let's have a look over here. Yeah, still more stuff to get scanned. That's nice. That's really good, actually. Oh, look, he's such a tiny little dot there. Plutonium synthesis. We've got a new breakthrough. I think this is actually the one, yeah, that makes our sterling generators better. Um, 1,400 research, though. Wow, wow. We need to get ourselves more science facilities on the go. And what is this guy going to have? Yeah, we've got more than half our... A battery left so that should be fine yeah and lots lots of maps still to uncover that's cool okay overnight we've got a power shortfall of 54 I'd like to take a look and see what's doing that let's slow down just a little I've got a feeling it's nighttime that is the problem yeah these guys not really doing their thing we could build four generators four sterling generators i believe we have a bunch of them being built over here now each of these are worth a two we'll produce 10 more if open that's cut that's fine each of these will produce two solar panels worth of energy um and as long as we keep them closed like this we don't need to power don't need to provide any maintenance now there are a few that i've got open and i'm not sure exactly where i put them but they're 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 fine i don't mind them ch charging me a little bit of polymer just to get some more power there he is there he is i knew there was one open somewhere totally missed this uh breakthrough given when we were talking just then let's have a look nano refinement all extractors continue to extract small amounts of small amounts when the deposits are depleted Ooh. <laughs> More metal when the metal runs out, you say? All right, let's do that. Let's grab that. That's going to take a little while, and hopefully we can finish this before we finish. Like, definitely need to try and get this totally emptied out before they come along and say, oh, actually, this is an infinite patch from now on, because that, that would kind of suck after what we've been doing. Okay, I'm bringing Spirit back as we have built ourselves a nice little drone hub here, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what Curiosity is up to here. Oh, there is another thing to go and scan over there, but we need to recharge first. I'll bring you back when we've got to recharge and go back. That, that, that should be cool, right? That should be really cool. Oh, 
Oh, what a place to have a meteor incoming. I actually came over here to see what's going on with the store and demand. We could definitely do without putting more. We can only discharge at three. Is that literally the maximum discharge I'm allowed to have here? Uh, I do prefer a more free-flowing discharge, if at all possible. It's nothing worse than a discharge being all clogged up there. Ugh, no, that, that, that's not my winner. So technically, stored power got filled up overnight, but we couldn't discharge fast enough. That... That, sa that saddens me. That actually saddens me. So I think with this place being isolated the other side of um, a tunnel over there, the fact that it's got power and water, it doesn't actually have oxygen, but the fact that it's got water already, it makes me want to kind of just throw down a couple of sterling generators here and have this being the power for over here. Because, of course, and a little bit of extra power is not going to do anyone any harm. And that will then leave 20 power to just kind of run Research this place complete. overnight. Supportive community has been completed. That's pretty good. I also now need to figure out where we're going to be done dumping stuff like uh there seems like a good plan and then we'll just kind of fill this up as much as a possible something like this uh there and in there and in there that's that's a good dumping site that should enable all these drones to get busy i say all these oh, there they are cool there, there are more drones i was like hmm do we only have one drone here but no we, we've got a fair few drones and we've also got a fair bit of metal look at that does that mean that this is actually going to end up backing up because it's actual storage space not quite but we're getting close to the actual storage space being a problem okay i'm checking this dome out here and literally the only thing they seem to be short of is dining and social which we could literally just deal with uh, there was a lot of literallys there which we could just deal with by putting down ourselves a small diner and this should make this one of the more happy areas in here and i'm even gonna now go for Sector fountains escape. in the background because why would you not like one of those there and if i could have the same orientation and then turn it around and be like oh it's a smiley little face i mean like actually with the the way those eyes were turned up there that's that's not a smiley happy little face that's an angry face but that's cool that's cool uh these should get built exceedingly quickly especially if i do that because we got like all of everything breakthrough discovered core metals what does that give us core metals uh uncovers extremely rich underground metal deposits Ooh, so that's for the deep ones right increasing detail and reading traces of tectonic activities from eons ago has enabled us to accurately predict where to find high grade metals in in the deep crust uh only relatively recent pushed up from the mantle Ooh, okay that's that's pretty cool does that actually give us no no we did the deep scanning already does that just mean that we can now pick it up from pick up the deep ones i don't, I don't know is there a deep metal node somewhere nearby there's got to be somewhere can i zoom out please there's that one over there that's a little bit too distant actually man if i put this dome on that side maybe i could have done both uh i think we're gonna have to just do an experiment somewhere close. Like, does this give anything other than, uh, if we go production metal extractors over there, too far from domes, that's that's unfortunate. Uh, there is none of the, uh, look at the, the, the right there, status, this building is too far from Connors and too far from your domes. There is none of the required resource, but if then I just kind of go over there, you lack the tech, oh. Well, we can scan it, right? Oh no, because I've not learned it. Uh, fool, fool. <laughs> Okay, literally just one more thing I want to do before we finish up. I want to deselect Curiosity Probe here and try and finish these. You can see we've got a third of the way through there and then we're going to have a third of the way through the next one. That's not true at all. <laughs> we've got a third of the way through and then we need to scan the next one. I think what I might do to try and speed this process up is come to the infrastructure, get ourselves a sensor tower. There we go. I knew it would be around somewhere and just kind of drop that there i don't know if it needs any resources or whether it's like happy to exist on its own without any maintenance now but it will just help do the things that we want to do it very much it will i hope i hope anyway let's go and have a look at the school system over here i want to know how many dreamers we're getting does it tell us a lifetime graduate 63 that's all good but does it tell us what we're doing there no it doesn't doesn't give us like a hit rate or how often they actually get to be the dreamers oh look at this this is so nice so nice little setup we've got for our people here the diner out the back i mean that's looking tasty that is looking super tasty uh the problem is i can't i can't like rotate the map and move the map at the same time if i try and do that we just get 
rotation, uh, which is terrible. Oh, my colony looks a lot better from this point of view. I've got to say, got to say. So we've got to do something about these over here. These guys are doing all right. They want more materials, but that's my concrete, so which probably means they're overflowing. Down here we have our... Uh, metal extractors up there we have polymer town we really need to get polymer town to making polymers again at some point i think actually it's just making electronics if i remember correctly yeah actually it is okay that that's fine are we short of anything no we're just making making those yeah no we're, we're not short of rare metals but we could definitely do with the electronics being made a little bit faster that does not quite work for me though i do believe i have discovered i've learned recently that i could do that and that will be working out fine but too far from working drone command are you are you kidding me you ah oh. oh that's pain yeah no i definitely can't do that definitely can't do that Okay, they actually do consume and no power or no uh, materials. So I think what I might do is put down a couple more scanning towers. I think they'd be pretty good. So, something like, how far away we can go? Too far, too far there, too far there, too far there. Okay, that, that will work for me. And then maybe another one down here somewhere. There, Th those should now get full treatment from these guys i can even i can always salvage them afterwards uh we have an Select unemployed colonist you you're here where are you man buddy where are you apollo comet wow what a name what a name your parents loved you Ma uh, survivor martian born loner chronic dreamer awesome oh that that's actually really good that's uh, really good anything going on in this dome that we need to know about all the comforts are high morale should also be high yeah i think we're doing all right here guys i think we're doing all right with the unemployed person it's not the best we got we got a space there we go no unemployed people now right oh no we are out of metals here which i suppose is okay we can definitely turn this just into a polymer and metal parts uh, machine parts um factory i would have liked to have got that nano engineering done before that though i'm not sure if that's something that does work or not i'm going to leave this guy here and we'll answer that next episode about whether that is a thing or not we'll, we'll turn it off and we'll let the people redistribute themselves how is curiosity doing down here that that's that's not curiosity where are you you're all the way over there oh did we did we do the thing we did do the thing that's that's cool what about these things last one to go last one to go we've got ourselves quite a high scan rate we can actually watch this tick over so i might just sit here and wait 85 87 99 we, we are so close it's going to be amazing to watch this map get uncovered ba bam all scan all sectors scan got myself a couple of achievements don't know if you guys get to see that or not but now we get to see everything that is available to us on the map and that is pretty cool let's try and clear a few of these out of here so we can see what's going on you see we've got a whole bunch of anomalies left to be got i don't know whether i want to come along and do the keys first and then pick up the science or some other route i think we're gonna i think we are i think we're gonna go pick up all the keys first so curiosity if you could go around and unlock that I, i'm i'm very interested in fact honestly guys i think i'm gonna have to say with that i'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure i will see you next time when we're gonna go around and do all of these anomalies we're gonna expand out our metal production try and get that nano factory so we can get more metal being produced and find out what this green sand is about oh no <laughs> find refuge let's make some choices cool corridors of the home tree the doors behind you shut just as the shuttle takes off no time to catch your breath as the gathering is about to begin hundreds of people come to the red valley home tree to answer your call the conspiracy you've been gathering in the past year or so has gr has grown to numbers which require the establishment of organization or at least a unified plan for the future this is why you have ventured to the other side of the globe to contact the local anti-authority dissidents rebel scum the thing the things you have seen lifted the veil created by misinformation and propaganda you have all been fed you have seen cities overrun by disease and starvation where angry mobs riot every day in a desperate attempt to try and avoid the inevitable you have seen the barren landscape of the parent the planet dotted by the ruins of cities and factories where nothing lives and grows the world is dying and you know Know this with all your heart and the minds of the deep ground reservoir are long gone replaced now with the leaders of various resistance cells they all await you to start the meeting you don't and you don't keep them in suspense the horrible truth devours your heart and you have to share the burden with them listen to their words and advice and set the course for the future you know the gathering won't be easy as the tensions have grown strong within the ranks of the resistance clansmen straying from city dwellers and vice versa bad blood is running between the two groups each viewing the other as something far too different to tolerate 
You are attributing much of this behaviour to the recent effects of the cure taken by your clansmen, which turned the world upside down. You hope they realise the vital role of the city of the city dissidents, mostly scientists and thinkers, who bear skills and knowledge of which your people have been deprived on purpose. You don't have any intention to delay the meeting. You stand before the crowd and start to raise your voice. The man in the reservoir stops, and everybody listens. You talk for what seems an eternity, hoping beyond hope that your words are enough to reach the hearts of your audience. You describe the pictures of the dying world and make sure that they understand that the clock is ticking for you all. You cannot wait for better times, but the raw military might of the authority makes any attempt for the direct confrontation a lost cause. After all, your people are farmers, not soldiers. One by one, the cell leaders speak to their minds. The discussion is heated and continues until late in the night. You dismiss the gathering with the promise to continue tomorrow. Later, you're laying in bed and the sleep is chased away by your heavy thoughts. You realise that your word weighs a lot and whatever the solution you support, it would probably be the course for the future. Some of the clansmen propose that they all must hide deep in the desert and live off the land the way you did before, but this would mean condemning millions of people in the cities to a starving death. The scientists who prefer perfected the cure, uphold the plan to introduce a gene-altering chemicals into the food rations to send to the city. This will instill the truth directly into the minds of the people and cause them to rise. You will insist on taking the most brave and notable, noble path to send agents to, sp yeah, to spread the word of to the people of the city. This would be dangerous and even fatal should the pop authority uh, agents get their hands on you. Mmm... Well, it says you insist on taking the most brave and noble path to spread the truth. Forced down your throat is no belief at all. You and anyone who follows you would be the prophets of a new age of freedom and personal responsibility. The truth will be the highest virtue. No propaganda and no threats from government agents would stop you from spreading it. Deep in your heart, you know that this is the right course and that soon the citizens of Bedlam would follow you to the end. This is where this is why you're the first to volunteer to return the city. Many follow you without hesitation. All right, cool. We did a good choice there. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure. I will see you next time when we're going to make more, more choices. Even more more choices. Well, I'll see you then. Oh, and we're going to do that. Bye!